You're right, guys. Um, so, European Central Bank, ECB, our stimulus package as growth looks weaker. And this is the minutes, and this is from August the 22nd, and today is August the 27th, right? So I'm just going to read a little bit of this. And um, I've been saying this for a while now, but, um, you know, this is basically what his article is basically saying that a combination of measures may be needed to help prop up uh, well, maybe needed to prop up the Eurozone economy as recent indicators paint uh, an even bleaker picture of the outlook European Central Bank policymakers said in their July meeting. Uh, the accounts of the meeting showed on Thursday. And it says, with growth and inflation slowing for months, ECB President Mario Draghi has all but promised more stimulus as soon as September. A steady flow of dismal data since the meeting has only reinforced the case for more support of stimulus. Right, I've posted this in the group. Please have a read of this um, of this article um, today on the twenty seventh. Um, it basically talks about you know weak growth, etc. Eurozone economy barely grew in the second quarter in Germany. Its biggest single economy may already be in recession orders for its manufacturers have dried up investment slowed and confidence gone into a downward spiral although the domestic economy has helped up has held up relatively um well hurt growth with job creation slowing and confidence in services is waning right and then we've got today um don't know if you've seen it on one sec it's this one um so today obviously since that report came out um, GDP, German GDP basically contracted in uh, quarter two on drag from the external sector. So Brexit is one of the main reasons is export um, to the US, UK sorry, uh, dropped sharply by uh, in quarter two after UK companies finished stockpiling and Brexit was extended. Uh, collapsing exports pushed Germany's economic economy on the brink of a recession in quarter two. Um, and um, there's some Italy talks as well. So they've got problems uh, politically in Italy and the trade war um, has certainly left its mark in German, Germany's economy. Uh, updated GDP figures released this morning confirm that German GDP fell by 0.1% in the second quarter of, um, of 2019. Basically, it's in a negative growth. Yeah, at the moment it was zero and now it's negative growth. Um, German exports, etc., etc. So pretty much their concerns are being uh, realized, yeah? Um, so what's the plan? Really the plan um, is to short the euro because what you want to do, is, again, this is a game of probabilities. So if you want to buy the euro, you have to find cases to buy the euro. Sometimes we, you know, we all get caught up in a bit of um, what we call a confirmation bias, right? Where we just look for data that supports our theory. And one of the main things to do is to is to maybe look for anything to the contrary, yeah? So what you guys probably wanna do is, I can show you the doom and the gloom, but you know, prove an idea wrong. Yeah, so try and prove this idea wrong that you want to be a buyer of the euro. What kind of positive um, economic sentiment is on the horizon potentially coming, right? I can tell you the negatives, right, as far as um, stimulus and what that does for, obviously, um, uh, a currency as far as it weakens it, uh, as well as obviously some, you know, GDP data, etc., etc. But um, because what you want to do is you want to have at least some confidence in what it is that you're trading. Yeah, if you want to get short on something, the best thing to do is to understand why you're buying something or why you're selling something. Um, and that's what fundamentals are about. Why is why is there going to be money flowing into a currency? And will we get it right all the time? No, as far as um, the timing of our entries and exits, right? We're not going to get it right all the time. But um, overall, right, once we are on the right side of the market, what we can do is, um, you know, is, is, is look for the, the type of trades that can get us the, you know, four, five, six to ones, eight to ones, 10 to ones, etc. right? And these um, fundamental, um, uh, uh, I guess, um, uh, events don't come around every day or every week or every month, right? Um, but we have pretty much 
you know, everything's being telegraphed at the moment, yeah? So now it's just, we look for an opportunity in order for us to get short, you know, on a certain currency, yeah? So let's say, for example, Euro, Dollar, or wherever, right? You had an opportunity to get short here, another opportunity. So yeah, what you have to do is potentially look for just basically shorting opportunities at levels, right? I'm not saying that that was actually a level. Matter of fact, it might have been on a daily. Let's have a quick look. I don't think it was though. Um, not quite. The supply zone was really up here. But um, let's look at something like the Euro New Zealand, where we're up into the zone here, right? So with the stimulus potentially um, coming into play, we need to now look at the New Zealand dollar and say, all right, then why is the New Zealand dollar gonna get weaker or stronger than the euro? And because um, we've got we've put up a lot of case, you know, for the euro, we can go back to our fundamental analysis spreadsheet, look at the rankings, etc., and then try and time it to get short. Because if we actually zoom out, and that's the one hour, I don't know why I'm on the one hour, but looking at this from a daily perspective, this is a very nice area to look for potential shorts you know a very nice area you've got um a nice uh supply zone right there right where it's coming to and reacted so now it's just a case of looking at short trades and hopefully we can see you know the stimulus coming and there on the 12th of september is where they're supposed to be announcing it so can it do something before then um, but anyways, that's the trading plan for the euro. There's really no reason to be buying the euro um, at the moment unless economic data starts coming out positively. But Germany is, shrink Germany is shrinking. Um, QE is still on the table, um, and it's almost uh, you know a, a certain a certainty. So um, within the next uh, few weeks, why buy the euro? So um, guys, I hope that helps, and take care.